Good evening all, this is Vintage Vinny bringing you all my April 2019 eBay sales. Despite me having a very busy month, I did manage to have some pretty good sales. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. So let's jump right in. Alright, so the very first set of items to sell were these 1950s modern romance magazines. I put the words women's interest in the title because a lot of these magazines, especially the modern romances, had a lot of like ads for feminine products, makeup, cosmetics, other things that I will not mention. And I paid about a dollar thirty a piece for these. And I think in total with all the ones that I bought, I got, it was like $16, so basically these about paid the whole lot of them off. I still have some other ones up, but I know eventually to the right person they will sell. And these I sent media mail, so they only cost two seventy five. so that's still very reasonable. Next item to have sold is this 1914 Coca-Cola Betty Girl serving tray. Believe it or not, I actually got a set of three of these, or of old trays, on eBay for $21.50. Uh, if you guys have watched my previous sales videos, I sold the 1910 Girl, despite the fading and the paint loss, I sold that one for $30. I paid $21.50 for the lot of three. And this one sold for full asking price of $39.99. So in all, from a $21.50 investment, turned it into $70. I think that's a really good ROI. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and thin out my pinup girl calendars. Just ones that, you know, the art just wasn't as appealing to me. I think these girls are a little... They're just not Esquire or Vargas like I like. Or they're Esquire, they're just not Vargas or Petty or Freeman Elliott like I like. They're, it's a little bit more fake, almost. They just didn't really appeal to me, especially when I rummaged through and, you know, it, just, it wasn't as appealing to me as I had thought. So, I went ahead and listed it. I sold it for a best offer of $25.00. I bought these, I think I bought six calendars a few years ago for $75. So this is the first one that sold, and I have another one in here that I'll show you. Alright, like I said, another magazine lot that I sold. These are from the 1950s, 1953 to be exact. True Confessions. Again, put women's interest in the title because there's a lot of ads for makeup and things like that. Lots of stories that I think... In a way, women can relate to, you know, saying I sold my husband into slavery or, you know, someone who's man-hungry. Just things that, you know, appeal to women and things that I guess women can relate to. So, sold these for $9.99, so paid $16 for, or about $16 and some change for all those magazines. Now I have $25 that I've sold these. $25 total in sales, so I have about $9 and some change profit in there. So here's another Esquire calendar. Again, the girls just weren't really all that appealing to me. They looked It looked more artsy and just kind of, I don't know how to describe. They just, it just wasn't up to my standards, like I said, when I was going through them. So I decided to go ahead and sell this one. I didn't see this one up at all on eBay. So what I did is I just priced it high hoping that somebody would buy it. And lo and behold they did. So like I said I paid $75 total for six calendars. And I've already sold two of them for $65. So I'm only in all the ones that I'm keeping for 10 bucks. That's the way to do it. 
So I've had this item for probably two or three years now. I got it at the very last estate sale that I've been to. I haven't been to any other estate sales because where I live now, there's really not a whole lot of places to go. So this came from a really old farmhouse property. It was in the original box. And I've already made all my money back from this sale. So this is just extra money on top of... It's an extra layer of icing, I guess you could say. So it's a Betsy Ross flag. not Of course, not from the 1700s. It's probably from the 70s, I would say. Like during the Bicentennial or maybe even the late 60s. It's made by the brand Defiance. It's 100% cotton. Made here in the U.S. in New Jersey. Oh gosh, I paid like 50 bucks for everything. Or no, maybe it was 100. I can't remember. No, I think it was $50 for everything that I bought. So this was pure profit again. Took a best offer on this for 33 bucks just because I wanted it out of my life. It's, it, I had it for too long. I waited to list it. So yeah, I was excited to have that out of my inventory so I could put in some new stuff. These glasses came from back when I lived at my grandmother's house. Um, a gentleman who lived next to my uh, grandparents even before they moved in. He passed away, I think I was probably 20 or 21 when he passed. He lived to be he lived a really long time, I can say. He was probably in his 80s or 90s, probably closer to his 90s. I, I can't remember exactly, but he was older. He was still somewhat pretty active, I would say. I mean, we would see him walking up and down the street all the time. Anyway, he passed away a few years ago, and, you know, his, um, his kids were running an estate sale, and I went there just to, you know, give him my condolences, say I'm sorry to hear this happened, and, you know, just, you, you know, do what you had to do when, you know, someone passes away that I guess was, I guess, a mutual, like somebody, one of your family members knew, but you didn't really know that well. Anyway, so these were old American optical glasses. They came in the original leather, not leather, uh, metal case with, I guess, a soft interior. I had them up for thirty nine ninety nine, and then dropped it down five bucks, and then someone offered me twenty five, and because I'd had them for so long, I just went ahead and took it to get rid of them. This was a rather interesting find. I was at the Salvation Army. My Salvation Army is kind of weird because I'm in an older part of town, so some of the buildings we have are kind of old, so the way they have things set up is a little strange. So you walk in, there's clothing racks, they have one other room that has all kids stuff, toys, books, games, etc. And then they have housewares, dishes, dolls, you name it, bric-a-brac, uh, figurines, household stuff, all in one little area. And then they have this one little shelf in between uh, clothing racks that has like product and nail polish and stuff. And I've gotten some pretty good cosmetic stuff to resell from that little area. And this is one of them. This is by, you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong, Arbon or Arbonne Intelligence. It's hair care. It's a thermal fusion hair and scalp revitalizer. In the box, it didn't look like it was ever used. I think the pressure got to this bottle because when I opened it just to see if it was new, a little bit came out. Anyway, paid 75 cents for this. And I did take a best offer of $20. I didn't think that was too unreasonable considering how little I paid for it. $0.75 cents into $20, I think that's a really good return on investment. So this did take a little while to sell, but I'm happy with the results of it. These are Mary Kay men's products, which I had never really even seen before because I usually associate Mary Kay products with women. My mom uses the time-wise stuff all the time. So I paid 75 cents a piece for these. They're brand new, never even opened. So I paid a buck fifty for the two of them, and I sold them for twenty dollars. Another really good pickup, ink. For some reason, some of it can do really, really well. This I think cost me anywhere from one dollar to about three fifty, I think, or maybe even it was five. I can't remember. So. 
Sold these for $35. Got a message from the buyer after it sold saying, can you just take all of the ink cartridges out of the packaging? Because I think that was going to intrude on the shipping price. So I was able to send just the cartridges themselves in a padded envelope for like $2. So that worked out really well. If you guys remember, in a most recent haul video, I found these 1980s Tucko General Hospital puzzles. Brand new, never used. As you can see, they have a really old Kmart logo on them. I spent $4 on the set of these, and I sold them for $20. Last item to sell is something that normally I wouldn't pick up because I've seen this at Ross and you know some of those other off-price retailers. I just wasn't thinking about it at the time. So this is a genuine climb card. I think it's an as seen on TV product, or no, it's an online product, bulbhead.com. And originally this person um, has a little bit of a flea markety booth in this one um, vendor mall that I go to. And then they kind of have like couponing stuff, like they have cleaner and things like that. So I paid $7, half off of 14 for this, and I sold it for 20. Not bad. Um, I'm glad I didn't invest 14 into it because originally I saw others being sold for 40 so I decided to go ahead and get this at 7 I'm more happy getting 20 for it than I would have spent 14 and gotten 20 So that's pretty good. So that's all for my eBay sales report video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. All the links are down below in the description box as well. Currently, I'm most active on Instagram if you'd like to follow me there. And before I go today, I want to let you all know that in my next haul video, which I hope to have up in the next couple of days or so, I have a little special announcement. If you've already seen it on Facebook or Instagram, you already know what it is. But if you don't follow me on either of those platforms or if you don't have either of those social media platforms, you'll get to see the fun little announcement in my next haul video. Stay tuned and happy picking. Bye, guys.